Cause you're my final goal Some people fall in love for life Others never get it right Love's fickle when it calls One thing that I know for sure Longer than our lives endure You're my forever foe. And welcome back to the CJRT Podcast Where you could have been listening to anything else in the world But instead, you're here listening to us so And we greatly you. appreciate that <laughs> I'm your host, Jill Spool, and next to me is our technical producer and co-host, and bestie, Chandler Kozlovich. What's up, everybody? We have got a great episode for you today. I am so excited. But I'm also sad at the same time because it's the last one of this volume. Yep. Today, we will be reacting to and giving our opinions on the season finale of Ruby, Volume 8, Episode 14, The, the Final, Final Word. Word. Ugh, after God. last week, after seeing what happened to Yang... Ugh. It's uh, it's just, what are we going to expect? Now, before we even get through to Yang and stuff, um, first of all, I just want to say thank you again to all who took the time to watch and listen to our last podcast last time. Oh, I checked 330 I, Oh, not, not just 300 now. It's got over 400 now. Are Good, you serious? I'm not kidding you. I, before, when we end this, I'll probably just show her, hey, this is how many we got now. And um, I know there haven't been a lot for the last um for the last episode, which was just the behind the scenes look, and and I and that's okay. It's, I'm not looking for any much on that one, but um, yeah, that episode has gotten so many views, and I get, we actually got a couple comments. I know it was very weird. We normally we're still new at making podcasts. We're not gonna lie, we're not the greatest at it, but we were very shocked to see the views rack up, and we were very shocked to see people commenting. I mean, don't get me wrong, I freaking loved it. I loved that people actually get it started a conversation and getting into the episode. Oh, so totally. thank you for that. Yeah, we again just thank you all for and all those who have been uh hitting us up on Instagram and stuff, you know, thank you for all those views and um you know, like we're we're st again, we're still just starting this, so you know, there's still going to be some bugs and stuff we got to fix out and yeah. all. But um and I I put a post on Instagram if you haven't seen it yet, um feel free to go check it out. Um I was asking, you know, hey, now that Ruby's going to be ending today, what can we expect to hear from the next on the next show? So, um, like, you know, we have several topics. You know, we got, I mean, I know there's like Marvel and Star Wars and yeah. us, us both being band geeks. Yeah, even other random stuff like uh, jobs or hunting, us going to school, literally the most random stuff. That's why we call it RT, Random Talks. Random Talks, And yeah. also, like I said, if anybody has suggestions as to what they want to hear us talk about, they want to hear us get into a debate about something, leave it down in the comments. We look at the comments, man, we'll give you a shout out. Go ahead, give us whatever you want. And but in general, I also do want to say one more thing. Anyone who listens to this... Thank you for being able to listen to Two Geeks Talk. I don't know why. It's just the funniest thing. Yeah, and if you if you just saw me um, peep behind Jill, um, my dog just walked in. <laughs> so if you seen from a couple episodes ago, I was mentioning that he likes to open my bedroom door. Well, he just did. And yeah. he left the door open. So, uh, of course, I know he won't close it. But you know what? That's okay. I'm just going to reach for it. <laughs> yeah, don't worry, you're, All right. you're just fine. So, yeah, so without any further ado, we're going to go ahead and start the video. And for this episode, we're going to be showing you guys our reactions after this one. So what I'm kind of happy about on that is not as much editing. So we'll try to get this episode out tonight, if possible, if not early tomorrow morning. And again, if... Um, just keep commenting and subscribing. Oh, wait, I, also, I want to mention too, I gained two subscribers. So thank you to Whoa. those who, uh, thank you to those who subscribe to my channel. And um, I also mentioned too, there is a Facebook page that is up right now. Um, but I feel like we're getting more with Instagram. So um, I don't think the Facebook page is going to last as long. But on Instagram, we'll have a lot more um, views and stuff. So we'll just, we'll, we'll play by ear and just see how it goes from there. But other than that, you ready? 
Nope, I'm terrified. Uh, I wanted to do predictions before we started this, but now I just want to get into it. All right, so let's do this thing. And as always, before we start our videos, headphone Headphone warning. warning. We are loud. Even though I tried to edit the loud parts out as much as I can, I've I've been watching a couple videos of ours too, and they haven't really been as loud, but you know what? It it is what it is. If you could hear it in the headphones that we're wearing right now, we're very, very loud. We're boring. (laughs) in the red i can see it on the monitor okay all right let's you know if we keep getting sidetracked in ladies and gentlemen the volume finale and of we'll, ruby and we your pillow real quick if you get mine (laughs) I feel better Well, that was a thing. <laughs> um, I don't. Oh, gee, oh. <laughs> I don't know what the hell to say. Too much. <laughs> That's all I can say. The entire episode was just one giant fight scene. Normally, I don't like long fight scenes, but oh my god, that was amazingly choreographed. It was the whole fight was amazing. That's one thing. I am. I. I. <laughs> Uh, Alright, first of all, Yang wasn't in this whatsoever. We have no idea what happened. But the uh, rest of them, including Sean... They fell. They fell. They're gone. <laughs> I mean, we all knew that they were going to fall. If the intro of this volume has proven anything, is that it foreshadows the entire volume. And they all fell. The question is, where do they fall to? Now, um, most volumes, they don't really have an end credit scene. But one... There was an end credit scene at the end of volume two. It's where Yang saw her mom in a dream. Now, right. in this one, we see Crescent Rose on a beach that mm-hmm. just washed up out of nowhere. A beautiful beach. It doesn't look like any kind of jungle we've ever seen before. I mean, and would it, you think that that could be where they're at? Totally, totally. If Crescent Rose is there, they have to be there. And if Crescent Rose made it through, then... Something's showing they're alive. Well, obviously they're alive. I mean, they're Ruby. They're not going to kill off the four main characters. Right. Well, all four of them fell, so therefore, are they going to start with Volume 9 with them or the continuation with Salem? I have a feeling that they're going to open Volume 9 on the beach in front of Crescent Roads again. So right. you use the end credit scene to be their opening. But then I feel like instead of showing Team Ruby, they're going to jump back to Vacuo mm-hmm. to see everybody else. I think that's what's going to happen. I but, just think that the way they put this whole volume together, not only with nonstop fight scenes in almost every episode, or it's just coming to everyone's senses. That's one thing. Yeah, this so. was definitely... I think this is probably my new favorite volume. Volume... I think four or five. I liked volume six. Volume six is pretty good, but it was a little digressive. Yeah. I guess. I don't know. This was just very progressive in the storyline of the characters, um, with involving character development and plot. Just moving on with the storyline. You get to see more of Salem and what she can do. We see the downfall of Ironwood. Atlas is completely gone. The kingdom of Atlas is mm-hmm. gone. There's Solitas is still there, but Atlas is just gone. And then now we see that what happened with uh, Penny. Oh my god, don't, I totally forgot about that. Penny, once again, has died. But, to be honest, I'm not completely shocked. It took me a moment to adjust to it when I saw it in the show, but we all knew that Penny was going to die. It was just going to happen, because she wasn't going to keep the maiden powers for long, because it was either going to be Winter or Weiss that were going to receive the power. 
And that's in this just case, my, it that's was, my theory. In this case, it was winter. Yeah. I'm actually very glad that winter received the power. Um, cause I feel like she'd be the perfect winter maiden. She has great control over her powers itself, like her semblance and her glyphs. She's already an incredible fighter. She has great skills and right. she's just, she's a good person at heart. She has a good heart. And now, I mean, and one thing I, I'm, I, I asked this a couple episodes ago. I asked like, you know, what, like, where is Salem at this point now? And we see Salem at the end of this episode and what, her and um cinder cinder are into now um the other thing too is with neo after what she she's the one who put weiss where i mean put uh yang where she's at at first oh 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 neo's with them neo fell he was gone. Either all right, all right, all right. I must have missed it. Because oh. I, oh, okay. <laughs> How are we just? All right, all right, all right. So during the fight scene between Neo and Ruby, Neo knocked Crescent Rose out of Ruby's hand, and Crescent mm-hmm. Rose fell into the void. Right. And then Ruby, Ruby said, "Whatever you came here to do, I hope it was worth it." And then she let Neo come at her, mm-hmm. and then they fell. And then Ruby, uh, Blake caught Ruby before she fell, and then Cinder, being Cinder, broke Gamble Shroud again. And they both fell. And at the end, Weiss had Gamble Shroud and fired at her. I'm getting off topic. But anyways, You're Neo fine. fell because Cinder betrayed her. So when Ruby fell before Blake caught her, Cin- uh, Neo was falling with her. So either one of two things has happened. Either one, she fell and she didn't make it out. Kind of like John. Because John... Right. He didn't make it. Yeah. He didn't make it through the portal. So either she Winter fell did. or she landed on one of the platforms and she went through a portal. But the problem is with that is that there's still a very small chance that Neo was alive because, for one, Atlas fell on top of Mantle and the entire kingdom has flooded. Right. So the chance of Neo being alive after going through the portal is very, very slim. So I think she's definitely in that new in-between beach jungle place with the rest of Team Ruby. Right. How do we not realize that? Oh, my God. Well, you realized it. I didn't. I, I just brought it up, and you thought of something. I'm eccentric. I have a very weird memory when it comes to nerdy stuff. It just does not leave my brain. But, no, it was so amazing. And not to mention, Watts is also now dead. Cinder yeah. killed Watts. And now that I think about it, only, what, there are four members of Salem's party that are remaining because Hazel sacrificed himself yep. to get rid of Salem for a time. Mm-hmm. Emerald left. Neo fell. Watts is dead. Because Cinder just killed him. So now all we have left are Salem, Cinder, Tyrion, oh dear Christ, and Mercury Black. I'm having a little bit of hope for Mercury that when he sees Emerald, he might come to his senses. He won't help fight against her, but maybe he'll just run away. Honestly, nobody can blame him for doing that. But Tyrion, I want him dead so bad. After what he did to Crow, after what he did to Ruby, after what he did to Clover. Not gonna lie, Clover was not my favorite character, but that doesn't mean I wanted him dead. And then he blamed Crow for it, so... <laughs> he can go bye-bye. And I'll be very happy about it. Also, I'm sorry I keep talking. Don't, you want to uh, say anything? No, I mean, <laughs> honestly, I, mean, I don't have... I mean, after seeing what happened here, I mean, yes, we want to know what happens next. But, you know, it, with it being the finale, it's... We're gonna now have... To just hold on and wait just till the next volume, which is volume nine. I haven't heard anything on the release date for that one just yet. But, I mean, you know, we're just waiting for this to come out. But, I mean, after seeing that, like, you know, now you know there's going to be more to this story. So. I'm so nervous. It's a whole other world that we've never seen before, too. It's amazing. I'm yeah. so nervous. I think I... The minute that I saw this giant tree, because it went from Crescent Rose on the beach... Mm-hmm. To a little jungle scene, and then it went up to this huge giant tree, and it made me think of the world tree from Norse mythology. And a lot of Ruby stuff is based off of mythology, like mm-hmm. uh, the gods, the relics, the maidens. A lot of the stuff is based off of different kinds of mythology because Monty was really into that stuff. At least, I think that's what I've heard. I mean, if um, that if that's the case, and they did that part in part of his memory too, it would be great. I mean, they're, I mean, they're doing what they can to keep. Monty's memory going with all this. You I know, think they're doing pretty good, and, especially with this volume. Yeah, and um, not to get off with topic with all this, I mean, I was looking at comments from um, just to see, you know, like, hey, if when's volume 9 going to be released and stuff, and 
people were like, you know, hey, um, maybe volume nine should be the last episode, should be the last series. No, uh, no. no, please no. Uh, please <laughs> no to that to, one. Didn't uh, they say it was going to go to like volume 14 or something? I'm thinking it's going to go that far. I'm hoping it but does. But if, I mean, but one thing's for sure, if it does go that far, you know, first off, we got, we're going to have a lot of episodes for that, for that. Um, but two, if they want to do it this way, I mean, keep, just keep it going, you know, like people love this show and I mean, just keep it all going. Like, you know, they, I don't, I don't think they stopped doing red versus blue. I don't. Thing. No, they're because now they're on Red versus Blue Zero. I don't think Red versus Blue is going to stop for a while. Which and Who knows? if that I and if that's say. the case, you know they're doing that one. And then uh, Camp Camp. And Camp then, Camp can go for as long as they have crazy and unbelievable hijinks. And, and what jokes and what and I like stories. with and what I like with Rooster Teeth though is like you know you got a y- lot of young talented people, and you know with them being that way, I mean they can keep going for a long time. You know it's. And that's and that's one thing I like about it, and with the young people doing the creating and stuff, you know why? Why would they stop it? So. I just hope that they never stop. Not all right. As a hardcore fan of Ruby, I don't want them to ever stop the show, but oh, totally obviously not. you know that they will eventually. But just I mean, when is the question? Yeah, but. but I'm not gonna think about that because that's gonna make me cry, and I'm already extremely emotional after witnessing episode 13 and episode 14 of Ruby, because. I also didn't finish this up. I had a theory when I saw that giant tree in the end credits scene. Uh, Ambrosius said that uh, that little portal area, their central command, uh, I don't really know what you're talking about. But they said that they wanted it to be a place like this, and they meant the inside of the vault. What I'm thinking is the place that they fell to is the realm of the gods. Mm -hmm. It's a very, it's a long shot. Most of my theories aren't correct. I've been right on a few of them. One of them being the Hound and how it was a Silver-Eyed Warrior. I thought it was uh, Summer Rose, but it wasn't. But I was close. But no, I feel like it's the Realm of the Gods because you've never seen a world like this before. And Ambrosius told them not to fall. But the question is, what would happen if they fell? Nobody knows. Yeah, that's the thing. Yeah, now that you say that, I mean, he just said, don't fall. And nobody asked, you know, what happens if you do? So, and now I guess come volume nine, we'll probably know what they meant by don't fall. You know, it it could be funny because like, you know, if he said don't fall, you could end up in, you can end up in a better place. Maybe. I mean, just looking at that last scene. (laughs) From the looks of it, it looks like a paradise. (laughs) Yeah. And if if all, if all four of Ruby is there right now. I'm, I'll be waiting. I'll be waiting for the next season. I'm so excited. I don't want to wait. I also wanted to point this out, too. While I was watching it, I noticed something, and it popped into my head. Gave, I mean, it gave me a few ideas. Um, So, when the rest of Team Ruby fell, they were okay. I mean, all of them, except for Weiss, was extensively damaged, because Weiss's aura broke, like, what, three times in that fight with Cinder? Mm-hmm. She was the last person standing. And Jean fell completely okay, I guess. I don't by okay I mean they weren't injured as badly when they fell. Right. But what I was thinking of was Yang. Alright, so we all know Yang was the first one to fall, right? But the problem is that when she did fall, one, her aura broke. Two, she was really badly injured. Because Neo stabbed her. Right. Like we didn't see any blood, but we all know Neo definitely messed Yang up. After seeing her weapon the needle yeah because uh yang was almost unconscious when she was going down like her eyes were barely open i don't even think she could keep herself awake Mm -hmm. because her eyes were open just a little bit while she was falling but they closed right before she hit the bottom of the void now what i'm worried about is in the next volume when we see team ruby come back together with jean i'm kind of nervous that yang is going to be really messed up i don't think she's going to be dead probably more messed up because because after what neo did i mean Blake and Ruby just they just fell right into it. Yeah. And along with Weiss. And John. But Yang Yang was already Yang got she got um She got stabbed before yeah, she fell. That that's the word I was looking for. Which is what I'm worried about. I'm which I feel like that's why they sent John there. Like that's why they had the creators made John fall because of because of his aura boost. And if mm-hmm. anyone can save Yang, depending on how bad her injuries are when they find her, it'll be him. Mm-hmm. But the question is, is she going to have enough strength to pull through? 
Because even if Jean Booster or her being able to heal is her own self, if she can't do that, then she's going to have a problem. Mm -hmm. Which is what really worries me, because I'm afraid that when they find her, she's going to be just so badly injured that she's not going to be the same. Yeah. And we all know that Yang already has a history with PTSD. Because she got her arm ripped off, and she just got stabbed by the person who nearly killed her the first time. Because Neil was the first brush with death that Yang has ever had. Ooh, another thought that just crossed my mind. Neo and Yang are down there together now. If Neo's down there, what if when Yang heals, she gets some revenge on Neo? Oh, oh, I can just see Blake and Yang going after Neo. And I can see Ruby getting in there too, like, You killed my sister! <laughs> oh, there are so many thoughts and theories running through my head right now. I could talk forever, but I really don't want to do that. I don't think y'all want to listen to me ramble on like this forever. <laughs> Eh, I mean, that's kind of what some of us would expect. But, you know, like, I think we pretty much covered a lot of what this show had brought between, like, you know, the fights and then Ironwood and then Penny and then um, the rest of Team Ruby. It's... It's crazy. And now we... And then we see uh, Salem return and Cinder with her. Cinder's a liar. I don't know what kind of midlife crisis she was having, but whatever Watts said to her on that building made her less of an asshole and more of a person who actually thinks with her head instead of her fist. Because, God, she really just messed up all of Salem Sea. Like, she full-blown yeah. let Watts die. She used the stuff of creation and added fire to the flames. I, I quote her when she says that. <laughs> but, you know, Watts is dead because of her. Neo's gone. Emerald left her. And Salem just li straight up lied to Salem's face about everything that happened inside that little void area. And mm -hmm. I'm, wow. I yep, am so, so excited for the next volume! Yep. I don't want to wait! Neither do I, and I don't want to wait till... I mean, when... I think they're going to have the next volume come fall? I mean, that's just my prediction. I don't... Whether it will be, like, how was this volume? I mean, it could be. But, um, I like I said, I, have, I still haven't seen... Any news updates about when the new one will come out? But as long as we know that there is one that's going to be coming up, then we know that there's a continuation with all this. There's got to be a new one coming up. They can't just leave us on a cliffhanger like that. I know. That. Well, you know, there are some shows that have done that, you know, like... Because they got canceled! Yeah, which... I For this kind of show... No. No. You, Rooster you're, Teeth. Full you, control. Rooster Teeth, if you cancel this show, I probably will fly down to Texas and burn down everything. Don't say that. <laughs> Don't say that. Oh, my God. Although, he's probably not that far off. <laughs> oh, my God. You, you, I'm you, just... know, I'm just, you know, I'm just kidding. I wouldn't. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, I mean, it's just, you know, we got to say some funny things here and there, oh you know. like, God. But, uh, you know, and you never know, too, like, come next, come next year for... Um, for RTX and stuff, you know, like, that's one cool thing that, you know, we're looking forward to. Um, I want to meet Barbara Dunkelman and Aaron Zek so all, bad. All of the Ruby characters, you know, that's going to be, that's going to be something else. Yeah. So. Really excited for it. If they have it. There's just so many unknowns right now with Rooster Teeth. Right. And, and we don't blame you guys, but you know, you, you guys do your part, you know, like, we're. we're the world's messed up. Of course. It, we can't just, we can't just. <laughs> We're not blaming you guys. You know, you guys guys have given us great entertainment. Love you guys. I even still love all the merchandise you guys have. I just, and I think I, I don't know if you've seen or not, like they came out with uh, new Ruby uh, merch, merchandise. Oh, I, I, oh I, yeah, I, won, I think I saw that. I might, I, probably after this I'll show you, but, um, <laughs> but other than that, you know, um, that, that was just so interesting and I'll just be waiting for, for future Rooster Teeth episodes and future Ruby and. Hopefully we go from there. That's so bad. Yeah, Ooh, so. another theory just popped into my head. Darn it. This is going to be a very long shot. and I'm sorry, y'all are just waiting for us to shut up, and y'all probably just skipped your way to the end or stopped watching at this point. But I have one more theory. It's probably extremely far-fetched. But what if Summer Rose is also in the void? That's a good question, really. And like I said, this I, is, I would have never thought of that question. No, like I said, this is probably extremely far fetched, and the chances of it happening are probably like point zero 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 to one. But like, I don't know. I like these theories. So I mean, they never found her. Right? They never found. I mean, like it, it. just seems like at some point in all this, like there has to be 
like they're probably going to bring her in. Maybe I don't know. I mean, I, I'm seeing There's all of I'm I'm seeing um, pictures with like you know uh, Summer Rose and all these kinds of things. It's, it just seems like you know, hey, it could be in this episode. It's like and it doesn't. But is that a theory to where we're gonna see it? Where Probably we're gonna not. see her? And I'm you know it. And again, it's it's your guys' show. You know, like we can't judge what you guys put in the show. So, but you know, we're we're always like you know, hey, we want like. We want entertainment, and we'll, we'll, I, we'll, we'll keep it. We'll, and that's how we were pretty much this whole volume, I could tell you that. I don't know. Entertainment. As far as entertainment goes, Rooster Teeth is... Oh, Jesus, I can't talk. Rooster, Rooster Teeth. Teeth has done a damn good job of keeping us entertained with Ruby. And and especially through all of the, what's going on in the, the world right now, you know, we this kind of gets us away from all the panic and stuff, which is great. Ruby has been like my emotional support animal. <laughs> No, no that I made have, no sense. All right, we're going to edit that out. We're going to no, edit that no, out. We'll, we'll be fine. Nah. But, uh, I mean, coming up probably in, I think it was, wait, when did I first start talking with you? It would have been in May of last year, I think. Uh, August. No, a little, no, yeah. It no. was a little earlier. But yeah. I know that I haven't been watching, I haven't, it hasn't even been a year of me watching Ruby or being fan with Rooster Teeth, yeah, like you know, we'll be coming up on a year of me watching it. Of course, you've been watching it a lot longer. I've been so. watching it since it first came out. Well, and not since it first came out. More like I started watching it around twenty fifteen, twenty sixteen. I thought Ruby came out twenty thirteen. I think it did, but I didn't really shows, know. I shows didn't know you how much we then. know. <laughs> I am. I'm. I'm dumb. I'm dumb. Both of us. <laughs> All right, all right. So, if but, we keep going, we're just going to keep rambling on about the most random shit. We're already way over our Why do you think our name time. has random talks in it? I, <laughs> that, that's, part of the, that's part of the name, random talks, which, which is what we'll be doing and coming up within the next couple of shows or so. That's probably what's going to be happening now that Ruby's not around. Although we do have, I do have a few more ideas as to how we can continue talking about Ruby just for a few more episodes before we start getting into other stuff because I just love talking about this show so much. Anyway, before we keep going, because we're never going to stop, thank you all for listening to the CJRT Podcast. We hope you all enjoyed. Please leave a comment and subscribe to the bottom. Like, comment, and subscribe. We'll fix that. And, and also, again, check us out on Instagram at CJRT Media. We're posting on there every week, and we we try our best to... Keep up, keep you guys up to date on what we're doing, and um, until the next, till our next podcast. I'm Chandra Kozlovich. I'm Jill Spula, and we will talk to y'all next time. Have a great day, everybody. Bye.